One of the very interesting things I think about this whole issue is um, it's, it's actually not a scientific problem. Um, thanks to the work of scientists, we, we're actually pretty clear what causes global warming. I mean, they've got it down to a, you know, I mean, there's a little tiny fuzz about exactly how sensitive the atmosphere is, but there's no big mysteries. It's, so it's, it's not a scientific problem. And what I think is very interesting that's also sort of become very clear in the last eh, five years or so, it's not an economic problem. What we're really talking about is moving our economy from a fossil fuel economy to a renewable energy economy. And the cost to that is, is marginal at best. What it does mean is that we're gonna have to change the direction of investment in a radically new direction. But we're not gonna have to have a radically increasing scale, the amount of investment, right? Um, in many places in this country, solar power is already cost competitive um, at the utility scale level. And, and better than cost competitive, it's cheaper if you put it on your rooftop. So um, it's, it's just not a huge economic challenge. But changing the direction of those investments is a huge political challenge. And so I think when we talk about it being the greatest challenge mankind has ever faced, you keep hearing that phrase all the time, it's not uh, a, a scientific challenge. It's not the greatest scientific challenge. It's not the greatest economic challenge. But it is a pretty significant political challenge. But one of the very interesting things I think about political challenges, and there's actually a line, another line that I brought from the scientists, politics is what you call nonlinear. It can change on a dime. Um, I just think recently our own political history in the United States, I can remember, it was just unthinkable that we would elect uh, an African-American as president. It just wasn't even politically viable, and that happened overnight. And so I think our ability to change the politics, I'm very confident about, especially when it's in our economic interest, um, not just to avoid the cost of climate change, but to reap the, the fact that clean energy is actually the cheaper road forward. Um, but we have to change the politics to get there. And, I feel a lot more confident in our ability to do that than to solve scientific mysteries or overcome <laughs> huge economic challenges.